I'm an investigator at the Feinstein Institute for Medical Research and am director of the research program focused on OBGYN research. I had an insatiable curiosity as a child. I would want to know if I took a flower apart, how could I put it back together again? So growing up, my mother had a terrible autoimmune disease and she was sick for 12 years. My father had suffered from diverticulitis uh, his entire life. They were just trying one experimental treatment after another. There was just no protocol to follow. And I remember the doctor coming to me and telling me that my father had a 50-50 chance of surviving. And it was scary. Um, it was like the first time that I really understood that doctors don't have all the answers. And it motivated me to do something more. I felt research gave me an opportunity to help an entire group of people. And it's that contribution that has given me the motivation to really go to work every day. I once had a summer student several years ago who thought research was going to the library and reading books, and you suddenly realize that people don't really understand what the word research really means. It's an active investigation in the lab where we use tools and technology and clinical specimens to try to put the puzzle of human health together. We facilitate patient-oriented research at the Feinstein. It has an impact on better understanding and treating human disease. My laboratory focuses primarily on conditions of pregnancy and pregnancy outcomes, and that means both mom's outcomes in the short term and the long term and how it affects the developing fetus. Every single project in the laboratory focuses on inflammatory processes in pregnancy. How can we regulate that inflammation? How can we prevent the harmful effects and promote the beneficial effects? Inflammation walls off an infection. A little bit of inflammation is healthy and a normal part of pregnancy. Too much inflammation leads to tissue damage. That means your organs aren't functioning properly. And if any of those organs are damaged by excessive inflammation, the body doesn't function properly. So a lot of time is spent troubleshooting. We go over results of ongoing experiments. We are thrilled when we see results that we actually expected and that are consistent. That means they are reproducible. And that's half of science, is actually repeating what you've done and making sure you get similar results. Sometimes the result is the absolute opposite of what we expected. And some of them are some of the most important results because it makes us think that maybe we have to ask the question in another way. And people give insight. Everybody gives their interpretation of what the result means. And together, we come up with conclusions and formulate the next set of experiments. One of the primary roles that I play is um, helping the fellows implement a research project. I always say to them, I'm not training you to be a scientist. I'm training you to think about your patients differently. And I ask them, what is the question that's burning inside of you to answer that you could help your patients better? And once they focus on a research question, together in the lab, we can identify different ways to solve the problem. There's no two days alike in science. And that's the really fun aspect for me, that it isn't the same old, same old every single day. The ultimate goal is to improve human health. You're not only helping a single person, you're helping many people with the same condition, and you're helping all of their families. There are more cures in the pipeline, there are more treatments in the pipeline, and I think as a scientist, offering society hope is really important.